on a field trip with Miss Bailey. We have come down to the gorgeous waterfront. It is just beautiful today. So I posted a video yesterday about how important it is to advocate for our insecurely reactive dogs. And that was with Jack, the Doberman Husky Mix. I have a very different dog here in Bailey today um, because she's not, you know, insecure, worried, scared, any of those things, but she can still be quite reactive on leash because she gets so excited over people and dogs. So when in like a happy-go-lucky, um, outgoing, she's very extroverted um, dog becomes reactive, it looks exactly the same as the insecure dog who um, is reacting out of fear and worry like what Jack did. So even though these are two very different dogs, all of our rules for the leash walk still apply. That means when we're on the walk, the dog is off limits. We don't want to allow dogs to meet on leash. We don't want to allow people to approach and touch our dog, to pressure them, to put them in the position where they get to indulge that overexcitement. But we are going to strongly advocate for our dogs so that they don't get to practice that naughty overexcited reactivity that we don't want. So it's all about what you reinforce and what you correct. If you allow people to touch your overexcited dog, your dog is gonna continue to be overexcited whenever it sees people. The way to fix that issue is correct that overexcited reactivity and then stop giving your dog the opportunity to direct that reactive overexcitement towards people, which means they're off limits. Don't let people wind your dog up. Same with dogs. Oftentimes we have overexcited reactive dogs that are doing things like going to doggy daycares and off-leash dog parks. And all of their association with dogs is overexcited because they're running around and being a hooligan all the time and they're practicing all those bad habits. So if you want your dog to stop being reactive to other dogs on the walk, correct. The overexcited reactivity and then stop putting them in the position and giving them the opportunities to keep practicing overexcitement with other dogs. A better thing would be to go on a structured leash walk with a similarly trained dog and just have the dogs coexist together. Change the dog's relationship with dogs by teaching them that dogs should be a source of calmness and structure, not just a wild free-for-all. Now there's definitely a time and place for play and fun with other dogs, especially for our extroverted, outgoing, life of the parties like Miss Bailey here. But if that's all they ever do, then that's all you're gonna ever get from your dog is wild overexcitement. So play with other dogs should be a very small percentage of their time with respect to time spent with other dogs. The majority of their time, we're talking like 95, 99% of their time if they're around other dogs, it should be calm, polite, structured, practicing the skills you want them to be practicing when you're out in public or you're trying to walk them or you're getting together with friends. So super important guys, it doesn't matter where your reactivity is stemming from, extroverted over excitement or insecurely introverted reactivity like our friend Jack, the same rules have to apply across the board. If you want good, calm, polite leash manners, a dog who's able to follow handler guidance, stay tuned in and make good choices.